Hi everyone, my name is Claudio and I'm an LLM engineer. Today I will show you how I use LLM Studio on the daily and how it has helped me speed up my prompt engineering process. So first of all, let's start with the UI. This is usually where I spend uh, most of the time because it lets me explore, it lets me experiment with uh, variations in my prompts. So the playground is perfect for that. It allows me to pick the model that I want I usually go straight up with GPT-4. I can log in with my credentials and then alter some of the parameters and I'm ready to go. I can just write a prompt and it's send and it will deliver the response to you super, super fast. And as you can see, it is like streaming directly from OpenAI. Once the prompt is finished, it will be logged in the table. So here you'll have a historical overview of all of your, uh, all of your prompts that you send out. It is like super, super helpful because it also lets you export the whole history in a CSV. And then you can also do some uh, data science work in it. So all around a very, very helpful UI. So after I stop playing around in the UI, I usually strum, uh, I usually jump into a Jupyter Notebook because that's my happy place, let's be honest. Uh, and when I say Jupyter Notebook, I also mean a uh, Python script. So you can import LLM Studio within uh, your Python code. Uh, usually it's as simple as uh, select, uh, picking up the client that you want. Here we'll, using, we'll be using OpenAI client. Then you can initialize it with the credentials. You also uh, pick up the model that you want and then you're, you're chatting straight away with it. So four lines of code and you're ready to go. So now let's imagine that you have a web app that's already deployed and you want to just simply have an endpoint where you can interact with. You also have it within LM Studio. So LM Studio provides you with an endpoint for uh, each uh, model. Um, here we are using Postman to demo that, where we'll be sending out a sample post request to the endpoint. And once you hit send, as you can see, it delivers the JSON right back to you. So all around super helpful. So yeah, these were the three ways that you can interact within LM Studio. You have the playground, you have the SDK, and you have the endpoint. I really hope this was helpful for you and let's see you in the next video. Bye.